What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists and welcome to this video. I'm going to be looking at a couple of uh, Reaper Bones or actually Reaper Dark Heaven Legends and a Reaper Bones uh, model that I've recently acquired. Um, I just wanted to show them off really without unboxing them so it's kind of a an un unboxing. Um, <laughs> it's not really an unboxing but they're going to be obviously for future stuff. The first one is the Dark Heaven Legends model and it's a, he's called Goldar the Barbarian. You see the artist there. Uh, it doesn't actually say who the artist is. Sometimes it does. Um, and in this instance it doesn't. But I don't know, to some people that, that um that matters okay all that matters to me is of course that it's a, it's a really cool looking model and here he is um i have to say i quite like the way he is he's typical barbarian musculature nice big axe imposing he's going to be fantastic for my games of dungeons and dragons of course and i have a, a few different barbarian and warrior types now but um, he, he's going to be a sublime, sublime for that. And yeah, he's the metal, as a lot of the Dark Heaven Legends models are. So he's a metal miniature. And I will be, I don't know when I'll, I don't know when I'll be working on him. But, you know, I will be working on him at some point in the future. So look out for that one. Okay, the other reaper model i got it was really unusual i couldn't resist it when i saw it uh, brain in a jar and there you can see the artist is c lewis um of course the number of the measure and there it is it does require assembly and it's like a brain in a jar on on some robotic legs really unusual i couldn't resist this i've got i must have this i've got to have it so I don't know which one out of these two I'll be doing next because I've got so many Reaper models to paint. I could probably make an army from Reaper models alone. But yeah, I just, I just had to have this brain in the jar. It's fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. And this is going to be more for Call of Cthulhu. And... Yeah, I guess there would be other, there could be other um, role-playing games. It could come into play with it. It could probably come into the World of Darkness role-playing games, which I haven't played in a, a long while, I must admit. But uh, yeah, it could do. It could be used in games of cyberpunk, which I don't play myself. But you know, Call of Cthulhu, definitely. That's defo on that one. He's definitely going to be in there. So. Yeah, I just wanted to show you these two uh, two uh, Reaper models I've got, which I picked up. And, uh, you know, I saw them on... I uh, actually got them from eBay, their eBay purchases. Uh, not from the same seller, from different sellers. And they arrived on different days, but I thought I would uh, show you them both together today. But uh, So we're taking a look at these, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is... That's it, really. Um, just to say, well, these are going to be added to my my uh, huh, my. Well, I've got a couple of drawers of unpainted miniatures. Actually, I think I've got three drawers of unpainted miniatures now, but uh, they will be added to that pile. And uh, yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, all brushes lead to all. Bye for now.